What is up YouTube? Thrift School over here and I made a pretty large video game pickup just last night and I spent $100 on an Xbox 360, a controller, a wireless adapter, and a huge amount of video games. Now, a lot of these video games were not worth it to sell online, so I have a solution. These games right here are just not worth it to sell online. All of these are worth it to sell on Amazon. What is this guy right here? Left for Dead, okay. So these games right here are just not worth it. I'll only make a few cents or negative money after fees on Amazon. So it doesn't look like a lot, but I did take a bunch out of cases that were destroyed. Now GameStop pays the same for games without cases as games with cases. So you don't have to worry about that. Now, until September 3rd, GameStop is giving 60% extra credit, I don't believe it's cash, it might be, we'll find out very soon, 60% extra if you have at least six games to trade in, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then right here we got nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 games. So we are trading in 19 video games. And we're going to see how much money we're actually going to get from this little lot right here at GameStop. Now, th these games you could definitely bundle up, throw on eBay and make some money that way. But I'm going to try lotting them up. Hopefully they do that 60% extra in cash. We're not sure yet. These games, I have no issue sending off to Amazon. Definitely make some good money there. But these guys, let's see what we do. So here we are outside of GameStop and you can tell right over there on the window they do have their sign that says stack them so you bring in two games you get an extra 20 percent you bring in four games you get an extra 40 percent and six games you get an extra 60 percent so let's run in there and let's get some money for these games all right so what did we end up making 961 that is it now Take a look at this garbage, which I wish I had known beforehand. Minus 75 cents, minus 75 cents, minus 75 cents, minus 75 cents, minus 75 cents. I lost a couple bucks right there. A few bucks actually, because the discs were in pristine condition. Now they weren't in bad condition. If it has scratches on it, they were taking 75 cents off. Now I have a disc cleaner. If I had known that they take 75 cents off, I would have taken my time. It would have only taken me an extra two minutes to clean the discs, but I didn't do it because I didn't know. And I ended up losing, let's see, uh, where are the 75 centers? We got four or 375 total, I believe, no more? Yeah, no, I lost 375, almost four bucks. So I should have had closer to $14, instead closer to 10. So tip for you guys, make sure the discs, discs are in good condition. Was it worth it for 10 bucks? Eh, 14, yes, because they wouldn't even take these games right here. So. They wouldn't even take 11 of them. They wouldn't even take 11 of them. So these ones I will lot up, throw on eBay, make some money there. And I took the credit option. He said cash would have been like three something. Like, what? So I just got $10 credit to throw towards a game uh, for myself. I didn't pick out a game. Uh, I was really thinking I was going to get closer to $20 total for everything, which I would have been pretty close to that estimate. It would have been around $14, um, and then they didn't take any of these. So I don't, I don't, I can't even recommend it. That was pretty, pretty bad. I wonder how Amazon's trade-in program is. Uh, let's actually take a look right now. We'll see how Amazon's trade-in program compares. All right, so here we are on my computer screen, and you can see that the very first game that they wouldn't even accept, Amazon is willing to pay me $1.03 for. So let's go through this. 
Now it says select below for a quote and it wants to make sure everything matches completely. It says nothing about it being in the original case, which is good, um, but it does ask me a few questions. And the first question is, are all discs or cartridges included? Well, this game only has one disc, so yes. Does the game play perfectly? It is very mint and I will run it through my disc cleaner, so yes. And I'm just gonna say there are a few scratches because the disc cleaner doesn't get out every single scratch. Gives me a dollar or three. If I said there's none, it gives me a dollar or three. And if I say there's many, it gives me no money. So I'm just gonna say a few to be safe. I'm still gonna run it through that disc cleaner though. So there we go. We have a dollar oh three for this game right here. Now I'm not gonna go through with the whole process, but we're just gonna look up these games and see what GameStop rejected, what we could actually get for these. And now I'm kind of kicking myself saying, well, maybe I should have put all the other ones through here. All right, so let's do Rainbow Six Vegas right here trade in a dollar oh three Are all discs included? Yes. Yes few bucko three awesome So these are pretty awesome here. Let's try Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. This game is worth Nothing so Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 so let's type in Xbox right after There we go. So I'm not even seeing the game for some reason here it is uh, not American. I'm not sure why it's not throwing up. Maybe they just don't accept it So we won't even bother with this game This game is really worth nothing. Let's do Bioshock Infinite They were ready to accept this game at GameStop, but they were only gonna give me four cents for it. So Bioshock Infinite, okay, we do not have the complete edition and we do not have this so maybe they won't accept it either sadly I just have regular Bioshock Infinite. So we cannot trade this in, sadly. Let's do Assassin's Creed 2. They're willing to give me a dollar oh three. Okay, let's do UFC 2009, Xbox 360, 57 cents. Okay, so they're still willing to give me something for it. Halo 4, I have two copies of Halo 4. Dollar oh three, so that's two oh six. All right, Assassin's Creed Revelation. We got a little dog over here. Assassin's Creed Revelations, Xbox 360, dollar oh three. So it seems like most games they're willing to pay out at least a dollar oh three, which is pretty awesome. Batman Arkham City. So this um, seems like it would be a pretty viable option because you are going to get more money doing this. Uh, Looks like they do not accept this game, actually. So, it, it honestly looks like Amazon pays out the most when it comes to this. Gears of War 3. And this is the last game, $1.03. So, some of the games I traded in that they accepted for over a dollar was Grand Theft Auto 4. So, let's check this out. Xbox 360. Um, they would have paid me $1.01. GameStop ended up paying me $1.10 for it. So there's a slight difference. Uh, Supreme Commander, Commander 2, I believe it was. There it is, they're willing to pay me $1.01. GameStop paid me $1.10, um, but that's with that extra credit that they gave me. So, um, and then they knocked off 75 cents to clean the disc. So that's kind of, uh, I don't know here. Let's take a look at some of these games on Best Buy, because Best Buy has a trade-in as well. All right, so here we are at Best Buy's website. This is their trade-in, so let's take a look. We'll do Gears of War 3 and see what they are willing to give me for that. 64 cents, so they're actually willing to pay a little less. Let's actually try Batman Arkham City since this game was reject rejected by both GameStop and Amazon. So let's see if Best Buy is willing to take it. There we go, Batman Arkham City right here. They are willing to pay me 50 cents for this game. So this game I couldn't get rid of anywhere and Best Buy will give me 50 cents for it. So that's actually not bad. So let's actually try Bioshock and Call of Duty, see if we can make an extra buck 50 over at Best Buy. Call of Duty Modern War. They're willing to also give me 50 cents for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. And then Bioshock Infinite. So they actually, doesn't seem like they accept Bioshock Infinite for the Xbox 360, only for the PS3. So let's just take a look at the PS3. They're willing to give 64 cents. So okay then, 
Let's also take a look at that Grand Theft Auto 4 and see if they pay over a dollar for that game like both other services did. All right, here we go, select. What? What? They are willing to pay $7.49 for Grand Theft Auto 4. What? And I just traded in for a dollar. That is pretty interesting. Let's uh, let's check PS3. They're only willing to give $2.97. So why are they giving almost $8 for the Xbox 360 version? That is interesting. Let's try Grand Theft Auto 5. What are they willing to give for Grand Theft Auto 5? $9.90. So they almost give $8 for Grand Theft Auto 4 and $9.90 four or five that makes no sense all right guys well let's take a quick look over here on amazon and we're gonna look up grand theft auto 4 right here you can pick up copies for four five six for right around six dollars and twenty something cents and trade them in for 749 now if best buy doesn't really have a policy uh, with how many games you could trade in. It says you could do a mail trade in, so you could trade, send it right to them. Uh, it looks like you could just buy up all the $6 ones. Let's actually go check eBay. And if you are already going to buy something at Best Buy, this would be a good way to shave a few dollars off. Um, this is very interesting here. All right, so right over here on eBay, you can get GTA 4, the game right here for 680 so you would only make you know about 70 cents but over on amazon you could actually get the game cheaper this is crazy to me that they will give you 749 i'm kind of kicking myself now um for bringing it over to gamestop but i had no idea i'm sure none of you had any idea of that either let's try halo 4. halo 4 they'll only get 50 cents why are they giving so much for grand theft auto let's try some more valuable games dead rising 2 off the record only 396. That's actually pretty interesting because if we were to sell this game on Amazon after fees, we would only make 386 and that is before shipping it into Amazon. So minus 50 cents on top of that. So you'd actually make more sending it into Best Buy. That is store credit by the way, but um you would make 386 selling this on Amazon. 396 through Best Buy. Now let's try the Amazon trade-in program and see what they are willing to give us. Amazon is willing to give us $4.58 for this game trade-in. Huh. Let's try GameStop. Come on. Why isn't this loading? So GameStop is willing to give you $4.40 trade-in credit for this game. So I believe that they are probably the best especially with their trade-in program going on right now where you get an extra 60 percent so you'd actually walk out of there with over six bucks for this game so that's not bad now do i want to take the cash option versus the trade-in option that's something you have to weigh to see if um you know you'd rather have the cash or the trade-in but that pretty much concludes what i thought shop around guys take a look at best buy take a look at gamestop take a look at amazon compare all the different programs out there and see how you can make the most money for your old video games if you did like the video give it a thumbs up comment down below subscribe if you haven't already this is thrift school signing out see you